Hey guys, I have already turned on all four apps, Grubhub, DoorDash, Uber Eats, and Spark. All of them have been quiet except for DoorDash. DoorDash wanted to start me off with the offers that more than likely have been declined by others. First offer was for 2.1 miles. Yes, the miles are awesome, but the pay was not $3.50. That was an automatic decline. Then they wanted to send me another one back to back, 1.7 miles. Again, the miles are good, but the pay was not $3.75. An absolutely no, that is a decline. And then right after that, it gets even worse. 8.2 miles for $3.25. I'm like, what is going on here? So you already know, absolutely not, had to decline that. And then it gets even worse, 11.8 miles for $6.25 for Popeyes. No, 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 that is a decline. So of course I hold out and I wait as I usually do and surprise, surprise, Grubhub wanted to come in. $6.37 for Wendy's for 2.1 miles. The miles are reasonable, the pay's reasonable, and Wendy's is right down the road. So we are heading there now. And I've noticed with Grubhub's orders, they've been getting ready a lot quicker. Have you guys noticed that the do Grubhub that the orders are pretty much ready or close to being ready when we get there? Typically, we're always having to wait for the orders to be made when we got there. So this is nice. We shall see when we get there. We are heading there now. You for the mobile order? Yeah, for a Lily. Oh my God. Thank you. All right, for Lily? Yes, thank perfect, thank you. Okay. I've got the Wendy's order. Customer is two minutes, 0.7 miles down the road. It is an apartment. I think I know which apartments these are, so it should be an easy drop off. And uh, we'll get this dropped off and see what else we can get. It was an apartment it was to the third floor and this particular apartment complex it's typically usually easy to find there's a map at the the entrance too but um, I've delivered here quite a bit so it's always pretty straightforward but they have like um, carpeted staircases to get up and the drop-off was to the third floor and it's kind of muggy outside but inside the staircase it's real stuffy and somebody went in there and sprayed it down with something. Maybe it smelt, I don't know, but it is strong. And then on top of it being muggy outside, it was like really thick air. Um, but luckily it was easy to find. It's dropped off, so we're all good there. My apps are on. It has just been quiet and we're like around typical, you know, dinner time, um, five-ish. And DoorDash did send me something, of course. $3.75 for Little Caesars for four miles. But the, you know, the pay is just too low and it's Little Caesars. I'm usually having to wait. I haven't been there in a while, but the times that I have gone there, I've had to wait. And um, yeah, so hopefully things will pick up next month. I know it's still summertime. Things are kind of slow. Let me know if you guys are noticing things starting to pick up. Um, but you know, you have your days where all of a sudden, you know, you're rolling and then it's like slow. Um, I'm predicting that next month things should pick up come fall. Um, so hopefully that is the case, but let me know what your guys' thoughts are. I'm going to take me a spin and see what else I can get. A lot of times that will help <laughs> getting these wheels moving. It is super quiet out here. I mean, the offers are coming in here and there, but they're like no good. I got an Uber Eats order for 3.8 miles for $4.55. And I'm like, absolutely not. You know, so I'm, you know, taking my spin where the restaurants are. And I finally get something that's decent for taking $7.36 for 4.2 miles. So I am on my way there. Let me see how far. I'm about three minutes, one mile from the restaurant. So we're gonna go pick this up, see how things are gonna go. 
like I said before, I feel like people are ordering later. It's just, it's just slower. Um, and again, it comes with the territory. Hopefully things will pick up. Some days will surprise you and it'll be busy and you're moving, which are the best days. And some days are kind of draggy where you just got to kind of take what you can get that's reasonable to you, that's worth your time. Again, like I've said a hundred times, driving our own cars, gas, all that. So you got to take everything in consideration when choosing your orders to make sure that you are profitable. So we're going to head there and uh, hopefully things will pick up a little bit. I need some more decent orders coming in. Um, but yeah, yeah, we shall see. Yeah, excuse me. Thank you. Uh -oh. oh no, your fork. Uh -oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. Thank you. Yes, fork. You already know? Okay, thank you. You too. Order was ready, sitting on the counter. She knew it was me, gave me the order, threw me off though, because I'm always like, you know, usually they want to see the phone or they ask the name, but um, they have all those details. So she knew it was me and I got the order and we are off. Customer is four minutes, two miles, and on my way to get this order, Spark has been quiet, but they finally sent me something. 4.6 miles for $19.24. One of them is an apartment, the other one is a house, but it's smaller items. The apartment does have, I think it was a few things of Pepsi, but there's six packs. Um, and I believe the apartment is to the second floor. And I believe I also know which apartments these are. These are the ones that I delivered the Wendy's to, if I'm correct, if I'm correct, with the, the stuffy staircase. So shouldn't be too complicated if it's a smaller packs of soda. And um, we're gonna go get it done though. We're gonna go get it done and uh, we're gonna get this order dropped off and then head over to Walmart to pick up the Walmart order. Got plenty of time. I actually got that order 15 minutes after the hour and it is a 45 pickup. So um, yeah, all is good. Customer left very detailed notes. This apartment complex, there's a map up front, but you gotta get out of your car and go look at it at the leasing office. And in the past, it's been one of those more complicated ones. So I always stop at the map to figure out where the building is and then go from there. I always have to stop at it because the GPS won't even take me there. But the customer was kind enough to leave very, very detailed notes followed their notes, took me right to their apartment quick and easy. So thank you so much for leaving very detailed notes. It always helps when it comes to the more complicated apartments. So I am on my way to Walmart. Should get there a few minutes prior to when the order is ready to be picked up. Hopefully it'll be ready. Get these wheels to move in and uh, we'll see what else the night brings us. I have made it to Walmart. I am checked in and it is, there's like no cars here. When I drove past here earlier, there was no cars here. And this is like my first spark order that's came in. It has just been a quiet day, but I'm happy to have this order. So I'm gonna hang out. Hopefully it will be out soon. I would assume so since there's nobody out here. Um, and the other thing is I've had some of you guys ask me if I have an Instagram. I finally have an Instagram now. You can follow me at miss.brie. And also this Thursday, I am gonna be delivering with something different. And so you can get a sneak peek of that on my Instagram. Just a clue, I call her the hogster. So you can go check that out, see what I'm gonna be delivering with. And they are coming out already, they are here. So uh, we're moving guys, we're moving, all right. All right, I got loaded up and I got loaded up fast. Um, they said it's been kind of quiet today too still nobody even showed up while they were loading me up so just a slow day um the first drop off is four minutes 1.2 miles and i messaged a customer to let them know that i'm on my way so they know to be expecting me soon and um they gave the message a like so um, they know i am coming so this should be a pretty easy drop off it is the apartment with the four things of soda there's six packs and I have a little bucket in my back trunk that I keep my drink.
drink holder in kind of keeps it secure and so I just put the Pepsis in there and then they got like um, um, I don't know like a loaf of meat um, and a little tiny thing of ice cream so a real simple order and I believe it's on the second floor so hopefully all will go smooth it should I am familiar with this apartment complex and then we'll drop off the next one orders dropped off easy to find I just double checked it at the map because sometimes uh, the GPS finding it can be a little funky got right to the complex there was a spot right by the door so I just backed in grabbed my little basket because I loaded it up with the soda in the bag and it was to the second floor quick and easy and it is dropped off second customer is 10 minutes 2.9 miles I messaged him I'm on my way so we should be there shortly Last orders dropped off. Like I said, it was a house. It was easy. It's only a few bags of groceries, which was nice. The food apps have been quiet. I did get one from Uber Eats, 10.7 miles for $8.61. And it was gonna take me into another city. I don't wanna go out there. Miles are high, pays too low for those type of miles. So that was a no go. And then Spark wanted to give me another offer. $10.24 for five miles. It's guaranteed earnings. There's no tip on it. So I am going to head back to the Walmart that I was just at. Go grab this. By the time I get there, I should be getting there when it's about ready for pickup. So heading there now. So I'm heading to Walmart and I get an offer for $8.19 for two miles for a restaurant that I'm about to pass, of course. I accepted it. The drop-off should be close to that Walmart location. All should work out perfect. This restaurant is always on point of having the food ready. So I'm gonna grab it, go, and then we'll go to Walmart. Order was ready just as I expected. Customer is four minutes, 1.3 miles, and the apartment complex that they're at should be right over by Walmart. Work out absolutely perfect. I did message them that I am on my way. They did also provide some notes for their apartment and their building number, which I absolutely love and absolutely appreciate. All right, guys, we are on our way. Orders dropped out super, super easy to find. GPS took me right to the building, which is always awesome when it does, but the customer, like I said, provided notes, which is much appreciated, especially when the Navi is acting up within the app like mine has been today. Um, but I still got there and all went well. And of course, you know Uber Eats, once you get to the door, they like to send you offers. I've talked about this before, which is, it can freeze up your app and it gets frustrating. Of course, they send me when I'm getting up to the door $14.84, which sounds nice, but there is 18 miles behind this offer. And I'm like, that is super far. $18 for $14.84 completely backwards. Absolutely not. Regardless, I have the Spark order waiting for me. I am right around the corner. This worked out perfect. I love being able to combine a spark order with the food delivery order because you have you know enough time frame to get over to get your order and usually can squeeze in a food delivery order as long as the miles are low and of course reasonable pay. So we are heading to spark to go get this order and um, they're being quick today which I love. All right. All right. I have arrived at Walmart. I have checked in and there is only one car here so it should be quick like before which I always love and uh, we'll get these wheels to moving. 
All right, after I got done saying what I was saying, they were out here. They are moving fast and a different uh, employee that's loading me up told me they have been slow today and I'm like, it's been slow for me today too. You just, it just drags, you know, but grabbing what I can and it's been working out, getting orders here and there, of course, as always, gotta decline the unreasonable offers that aren't worth it for you. Take the good one. So this customer is, 14 minutes, five and a half miles. I thought it was like, I thought Spark said it was, uh... Spark had initially told me it was five miles, but I guess there's a, a half of mile in there that they didn't include. Um, I'm trying to check out the map and see. Interesting, they're off a little bit. Um, Still not horrible, as long as it ain't too much that they're off, and it's a house, so should be a quick and easy drop off. Um, it's just straight $10, there is no tip included. Spark is paying for it all, and I look at it as, as long as I'm being paid, the tip for the Spark orders, um, I'm not too concerned about it as long as I, like I said, I'm being paid for the order because with Spark, they can decrease their tip, they can take away their tip. Although it doesn't happen all the time, it does happen occasionally. This way I know it's guaranteed earnings, so I do not mind these orders. I know some people might say, I wouldn't take an order with no tip, um, but like I said, as long as I'm being paid for my time and um, the work that I have to do, I am all good. So I am heading there to drop this order off. I'm going to go ahead and leave you guys right here. I appreciate you guys riding along with me as always. Of course, if you enjoyed the ride along, please give the video a like. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. Ring the bell so you don't miss out on any of my videos and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye guys.